Hello, fans of Psych2Go. Thank you for being here. We hope that we continue to help giving you further insight to yourselves and the people around you. Please remember that Psych2Go content is based on peer-reviewed journals and case studies. You can visit our website for further details. Now, on to the show. Have you ever surprised yourself or anyone else with your profound insight about things? Do you love to discuss and debate about the big questions of life? Do you frequently try to take time for yourself for introspection, away from everyone else? If this sounds like you, then you're likely to be a deep thinker. Misunderstood by many, deep thinkers are more than the stereotype of the reclusive introvert. They're thoughtful, brilliant individuals who prefer to take their time, regardless of today's fast-paced, technologically dependent society. They try to understand themselves, the world, and those around them. A deep thinker is often quiet and reserved. They're also open-minded, eloquent, passionate, and incredibly bright. Their minds are a maze of unmapped ideas, of which they would gladly spend the rest of their lives trying to navigate. Deep thinkers are fascinated by everything, enjoying the exploration of the abstract world more than the real one. Do you wonder if you or someone else is a deep thinker? Let's take a look at eight signs you might be a deep thinker. One, you're an introvert. While not all deep thinkers are introverts, the majority of them tend to be. But what does being an introvert even mean? Being an introvert means you're more internally oriented than externally. It means that you tend to spend lots of time in your own mind and may feel drained rather than energized by constant social interaction. Solitude is refreshing for you, then you enjoy the peace and quiet. You enjoy your own company, requiring alone me time every now and then to recharge your emotional battery. As such, you don't have the constant itch to go out and make plans with others. You're good with you and your awesome self. Two, you hate small talk. Like most introverts, deep thinkers prefer silence over small talk. Mindless chatter isn't positive or interesting to them, so they'll pass on the good weather this week comments. Deep thinkers tend to speak only when there's something they feel is important enough to talk about. Otherwise, they're quite comfortable being a silent observer in conversations. This may give a mistaken impression of detachment, impassivity, and awkwardness. Relax though, they're likely listening intently to the conversation, waiting to add something important or having deep thoughts in their own brilliant minds. Three, you're introspective. Introspection is the key to deep thinking, as being introspective is to reflect on the meaning behind your own thoughts, emotions, and experiences. Introspection makes deep thinkers very self-aware, while also making them occasionally forgetful and absent-minded. When you're introspective, it's easy to get lost in your own thoughts, not living fully in the moment, you become so engrossed in your thoughts that details can pass you by. So if a deep thinker needs you to repeat something, it's probably because their brain is working overtime in its own internal galaxy. Four, your imagination is vast and active. Deep thinkers often have a rich inner world that's made up not only of their reflections of the past, but of their fantasies about the future as well. They enjoy imagining themselves in alternate realities, different scenarios, and maybe picturing what their life might be like years down the line. If daydreaming is your thing, and you wonder what the multiverse might hold for you, this is a pretty telltale sign that you're a deep thinker. So snap into your superstar alternative self-suit and let's see what lies ahead. 5. No last minute surprises for you. You plan ahead. Do you like to know where you're going and what you're doing in the days and weeks ahead? Are you rarely impulsive or rash, almost always thinking things through before you act? Do you have a vision but like to have solid steps and at least a guideline or schedule towards how to make it a reality? If so, you're likely an avid planner and you share a common characteristic with deep thinkers. A great deal of them love to think about the future and plan their day, week, month, or even a year ahead of time because they look at things from a long-term perspective. Most deep thinkers go on to be highly successful in their fields. They like to have a well-thought-out plan for almost everything and will rarely, if ever, blindly leap 
flying on hope and luck. Six, master strategist and planner reporting in. Strategy and calculation go hand in hand with planning ahead. Deep thinkers consider all the possibilities before making a decision, weighing all the pros and cons of each option. As you, the deep thinker, are always looking for the best possible outcome, there's usually a purpose behind all your actions. You dislike doing meaningless things, and for the most part, won't make knee-jerk decisions. You need time to think things through. 7. You're a good problem solver. Analytical, tactical, and creative. These traits are what make an excellent problem solver. And guess what else? They also happen to be qualities of a deep thinker. Deep thinkers are able to solve problems by patiently deconstructing it and trying to predict its outcomes. They can easily see patterns, relationships, and potential obstacles of a situation as a result of looking at it from every possible angle. Deep thinkers enjoy being challenged with a good problem. It gives them a chance to utilize many of the skills they don't usually get to showcase. Remember though, a challenge and a good problem is not the same as a meaningless circular argument. Any, you love to learn. Plenty of history's greatest scholars were deep thinkers, and it's easy to see why. Deep thinkers are constantly looking for ways to deepen their understanding of themselves and the world around them. This means they're likely to immerse themselves in books, lectures, and documentaries. They're very curious creatures with an intense thirst for knowledge. They want to know the purpose behind everything and how it all fits in the grand scheme of things. Whether it's history, politics, literature, science, or psychology, deep thinkers want to learn it all. So, do you relate to any of the things mentioned here? Do you consider yourself a deep thinker? If the answer is yes, then there are surely great things in store for your future. Being a deep thinker is a rare and exceptional gift that allows you to perceive and understand things at a deeper level than most. You have a unique perspective. Many of the most gifted and extraordinary people, from artists and writers to inventors and philosophers, have been deep thinkers. So you're certainly in good company. What would you like to watch next? Let us know in the comments below. Don't forget to like and subscribe for more psychology content. Thanks for watching.